catch up the spy. This is the all-time fave. Yeah. Not complete without the HP sauce. It's more addictive than anything I know. Believe me. <laughs> I've always wondered how actors uh, at that crap, you know, take 47, you know. The favourite's always been Shepherd's Pie because you get to a show and you haven't eaten and you don't want to eat, uh, like, something really solid. And a shepherd's pie is like baby food. <laughs> it's uh, mush, you know, but at the same time, it tastes great. Basically, shepherd's pie is pure fuel. Ask any shepherd. Doris, me mum, used to make the odd one. Gus, my grandfather, made a great one. The best tip I can give anybody who knows anything about shepherd's pies was taught to me by my old, late, great security man, Big Joe Seabrook from Wembley. Certain people around that area will know him damn well. He told me that the, the real secret is to chop up a few onions. <laughs> now, this is secret. This is top secret. I'm not kidding you. Yeah. Yeah, a few more chopped onions just before you put the spuds on top of the pie and before you put it in the oven. That's the tip. That does add zest to the whole thing. Because there's onions in there already, you see. But they're already cooked, so to put some fresh ones in before it goes in the oven is, I thought, a crowning glory, you know, <laughs> of the shepherd's pie. Before you put the potatoes on the top. <laughs> English word, yeah. My granddad made the best egg and chips you ever believe in the world. Yeah, I'm still trying to get up to mark on that. And shepherd's pies, which is an ongoing art. Nobody's actually made the uh, quintessential, absolute shepherd's pie. They all come out different. <laughs> but the trick I was taught, before you put the potatoes on the top, <laughs> You chop up some more onions and put them, because the onions you've used to cook with the meat have been reduced. And so, and it was damn right. It just gives you that, because they don't, you know, they're still there as onions. And, uh, you know, just a tip, folks. You know. San Lorenzo and Beach and Place. Uh, this is not a restaurant, this is a family restaurant. This is called Osteria. Mm -hmm. This is not a restaurant. So we have been working with my wife, <laughs> and I got my son. So mm -hmm. It's a family business. Look, this is Mara. Hey, take a picture of Mara. By Andy Warhol, by the way, see, look. In the 70s, I don't know, 67, at the beginning. Mara is, uh, you know, I poured in a storm. <laughs> but I mean, I could go in there with not a penny in me. <laughs> She'd take care of me, you know, in San Lorenzo. Before you put the potatoes on the top, <laughs> you chop up some more onions and put them, because the onions you've used to cook with the meat have been reduced. And so, and it was damn right, it just gives you that because they don't, you know, they're still there as onions. And, uh, you know, just a tip, folks, you know. This is the all-time fave.